Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Xylus here with a brand new video. Today we are here with a new little story time video. But first, let's get right into the beginning where I open a crate key. Let's go. This is Phoenix. By the way guys, if you guys want to get a Phoenix key, make sure to come on the server slash buy or go to the server shop. The server website, whatever. You'll find it. But they actually released something called a Phoenix Plus key, which is kind of interesting. Two times the booster pack. I'll take it. Uh, you guys can also check the forms for more information about what, what that's all about. Anyways, let's get straight into the story time. Okay, guys, we're here in the story time. We're just going to start placing blocks here. Anyways, guys, the story time today is going to be the time I got a $400 brick. I know, kind of crazy. But, uh, how this happened was basically, I was looking for an iPhone quite a while back. Not, not too long, like a month ago, maybe. And I got an iPhone 7. Pretty good deal. I'm like, oh, this is pretty good. $400 for an iPhone 7. It was only like a little 32 gig. But, um... We got the phone. We, we took it directly to our, our, like, service provider. To get it, like... To get the Surface connected to it that same day. They actually... This is a short story, guys. They said... Basically... The phone I wasn't paid off and they showed us the account that owned it they only like they didn't they didn't even own the phone but they still sold it to us they owed like I think almost $600 on the phone which is crazy and uh, so we talked to them was like no we don't know what you're talking about <laughs> and I was just look with it we this, at the same day I actually also bought a life proof case those aren't the cheapest and I was like yeah I finally got an iPhone 7 I was so hyped sorry if I don't sound hyped I'm trying to be a little bit quiet here but uh kind of bummed my day I was so excited just waiting for it in the mail it came well, I think three days after we got it after we bought it and uh originally we bought it and which is cool I got an iPhone 7 it, the description actually said clean I am you whatever it is so we're like okay that's fine but that phone, yeah, <laughs> it wasn't paid off entirely, which was a huge bummer. And then also, I, we only, then we contacted them, as I said, we only had a few days to return it, which was kind of, kind of sucked. But if you guys don't know, I actually flew out to Korea, so my sister had to do everything, but she stalled too much. And, uh, it was the last day to send it out in that time zone. So we finally got it sent out, but they also closed our case to get a refund on it. So they have the phone now, but we don't have the $400. But I call it a $400 brick because it was basically, it was, we took it to a, we took it to the corporate store and they said, um, no, sorry, we can't do anything. It's not paid. It's not paid off fully. We can't activate it for you. The account that owned it was already closed. We couldn't do anything. So we took it to the third party store, see if they could do anything about it. And uh, we showed it to them. We, we gave them the phone. Like, here, can you activate it? So they looked up like the little number, like that goes to that phone, the MEID or whatever it's called, and they said. Oh, we can't activate it. The account that owned this isn't paid off. They never even owned. They never were. They legally weren't allowed to sell it to us, but they did, which kind of sucks. And uh, they even showed us a screen. They owed, as I said, about six hundred dollars on the phone. They also owned a se iPhone Seven Plus that they that they closed their account while still having to pay it off, and they didn't pay it off. So we're stuck here with the phone. But well, now I've already sent it back. I'm just going back in time a little bit. And at that third party store, um, we want, she said, legally I'm not allowed to give it back to you. So she wanted us to walk away without the phone, that she wanted to keep it because we weren't supposed to actually have it. So there wouldn't be a way for us to refund it. But we said, okay, pretend you didn't, pretend we never talked to you and give us their phone basically. Which is kind of funny. Oh, 
There's no diamonds here. Alright. Anyways, that's basically, like, the main gist of the story. I think I... S I'm pretty sure I still have the case. The iPhone 7 case. I think I'm just gonna keep it until I move to Florida. To, uh... To get another iPhone 7. But this time I'm not shopping for it because I have, like, the worst luck in the world. Me and my mom. But, also... What do you guys... I want to know what you guys think. I'm thinking about starting a vlog channel. Because I'm... If you guys... As I said, I'm in Korea. That'd be really cool for, like, other people to experience American life in Korea. It's really interesting. And then, there's also... I'm getting a truck soon. Since I'm turning 16. And I really... Like, that's, that's the car I've chosen I really want. I don't want an SUV. I want a truck. I've, I was looking at two, some, like, some coupe. But... I'm a truck guy. It's official. <laughs> Anyways, we're looking at some Toyota like Tundras and Tacomas. And we might get one here in Korea, which will be pretty good for the video for the vlog. And probably gonna deck it out quite a bit. Like I'm talking lip kits, method wheels, a bunch of really cool things to this truck. And if it's damaged really bad, I can probably get a wrap on it. But we'll see how that goes. Yeah. That's about it sorry for the short video just wanted to get a video out. as you guys saw i haven't posted in a really long time um but but definitely tell me what you guys think about me starting like a vlog channel tell me, and uh also leave that and tell me what you guys would like if you saw some drone pranks i have a phantom 3 standard not 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 nothing fancy not professional but it's standard but um they're, as you guys know, they're pretty strong drones. I'm thinking about doing one of those drone pranks that you see on YouTube. They're pretty interesting. I think they're really hilarious. But just tell me what you guys think. I can definitely do that when I go to Florida because I already have, I have my drone license and everything. That's about it. See you guys next time. Peace out.